Hello YouTube, Salivate Metal here. We have an interactive world map of all the nations of the Earth and several different criteria that have been mapped, including GDP, balance of payments, gold per head, population. What I think is the most interesting is the gold reserves that each nation holds. And we'll take a look at this uh, from several different factors here. First, we're looking at the, gold, uh, the gross domestic product. And as you can imagine here, the United States is pretty high here. You can see it on the chart on the right that it's uh, grown up quite substantially here um, over the years, plus 75% from 2000 and 2015. And then China has grown a lot, 813% at number two. So their economy is growing quite substantially. Uh, the Russian Federation is number 14, but it's grown quite a lot too. Um, of at 426 percent and then a lot of the european nations you can see are growing uh fairly well here although it's surprising you can see some of these nations are starting a bit of a decline here at least up until the date of this map 2015. Um, very interesting indeed to see how these nations are faring the health of the nations and the gross domestic product you can see a lot of them are leveling out which is a sign of the times and that was two years ago and so who knows australia down here has grown 223 percent but it's going down it's only china and the united states that have an upward tra trajectory here most other nations are tend to kind of moving down although argentina uh are has an upward trajectory at number 23rd uh, so very interesting indeed to see the the uh, the different growth here of these nations and uh, with the gross domestic products. So now let's take a look at the balance of payments. That should supply of some very interesting data here. The United States has a negative 52%, whereas China is number one at 310%. So very and Russia is number six. You can see a lot of the different, the, but the balance of payments in these different nations, how the map has changed uh, with the different things. Botswana has a very high percentage of the balance of payments. I'm not sure if that means uh, the number of billions of dollars going out as opposed to coming in or deficits or what, or how that's uh, calculated. Now we're going to take a look at the gold per head. First of all, we need to take a look at the population <coughs> of these countries. And it's obvious that India and China are going to be the most densely populated, the most populous nations here, uh, with India growing at 24%, pretty massive growth there. China is growing at 9% because of their one uh, child per household uh, law there. And uh, Russia is number nine. The United States has got a 14% growth rate there. And again, keep in mind, these figures are, are dated, but it's just seeing this, the, the, everything compiled here. Uh, Mexico is number 10. So there's 321 million people in the United States. And, um, and there's 1.3 billion people in China and 1.3 billion people in India, although slightly less, but quite densely populated, these nations are. Very interesting indeed to see the populations of some of these data. These smaller nations have no data really available for population, but very fascinating indeed. So, then taking that, then we'll take a look at um, the gold per per household here, or per head of per head, per head of person. And as you can see in China, who's been importing a lot of gold and producing a lot of gold, uh, there's 1.3 grams per person in China. Whereas in Switzerland, who holds a lot of, of gold reserves, um, they have 125.6 grams per person. And that's in their gold reserves. The United States here has 25.3 grams per person as of 2015. And as you can see, that's declining negative 12% because we've been growing in population and not holding as much gold in reserves. And very interesting indeed to see that information for sure. So for each person, according to the nation's holdings, there's less than one ounce to go around per person. 
And uh, in Canada, it's a tenth of a gram because they sold it all. You can see that chart there. They're down 96%. They sold it all. And uh, in Mexico, they only have one gram. But it looks like the most per person in the countries is Switzerland with being number one. It's quite interesting indeed. Italy has got just over an ounce of 40.4 grams per person. Germany is 41.4 grams. Uh, Portugal is number five at 36.9 grams. But look at their population. But quite fascinating indeed. India has 0.4 grams. Now keep in mind that's the nation's holdings, their reserves. China and India and all of these uh, Western countries have far more private holdings of gold than any of the nations in the West. Very interesting indeed um, and fascinating to see all this data come together. Japan has got six grams per person. Russian Federation has 9.8 grams. Wow. South Africa, major mining and gold producer, has 2.3 grams per person. And again, a lot of data not available in, in uh, Africa, but in South America, there's some data, and it's interesting to see. Mexico, we saw that one gram. Venezuela, who has repatriated a lot of their gold, has 8.8 .8 grams per person, but that's declining. They're having to sell off some of their gold. They're in trouble now. That's from 2015. Who knows what it, what it's like now? All right. So now we'll look at the uh, gold reserves for each nation. And that tells us quite a tale. The darkest among us here is the United States holding 8,133 tons of gold, showing no growth or uh, uh, or loss. We've just kind of held our own there at the bullion depositories in Fort Knox and in um, West Point. Very interesting indeed. And I think San Francisco also has some and the New York deposit, the Federal Reserve. There's a couple different places around the United States that has it. Uh, the next is China. It's number five with 1,843 tons. It's growing. Look at how much it's growing over the past uh, 16, and that's from 2016 data, 366%. United States is, so it's 2016 last year. Uh, gold reserves in Russia, they've been accumulating a lot of gold too. The government of Russia, 320%. They're number six at uh, 1,680 uh, tons. Very interesting. Switzerland, it has the most per head, is number seven with 1,040 tons. They are a gold-rich nation, but they've been losing 57% loss in the last 16 years. Very interesting. Uh, so let's see if we can find um, number two here. The United Kingdom's number 14. France is number four with 2,436 tons. Germany is number two. They've repatriated a lot of gold from uh, other places, including the United States, and they're at a 3% loss. They still have 3,378 tons. Very interesting. Number two, and of course, um, Switzerland is number seven. Italy is number three, uh, with no net loss or net gain at 2,452 tons. But Italy's been in some trouble uh, financially. And all of the nations here, the pigs here in Europe with the uh, the European Union are having the, some issues for sure. And Greece is at 113 tons. And of course, Germany is sort of the head of the snake of the European Union right now. So it's not surprising that they would be number two. But certainly fascinating. You can see some Middle Eastern countries here. Turkey is number 12. Saudi Arabia is number 13. Uh, they've had an uptick in gold in their federal res in their reserves, a 126% increase. Let's take a look at South Africa. South Africa is number 26 with 125 tons, and they've lost 32%, mainly probably from bullion production. And uh, but there's a lot of gold mining there in South Africa. 
And then in Nigeria, there's a lot of gold mining as well, too. Uh, but there's a net zero-sum gain there as well. Australia, uh, a slight uptick, but not noticeable, really. They've got 80 tons, and they're number 34. Thailand is 23, and they've had an uptick of 107% in their country. Fascinating. 152 tons there in Thailand. So very interesting indeed. I thought uh, you all might find this interesting for these different nations and their gold reserves and how it compares with the GDP, balance of payments, and the gold per head. I uh, found this quite fascinating. Got this from Bullion Vault. i uh, like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for watching and encourage you to please rate, comment, and subscribe.